Hello all, in today's video we're going to talk about the April Year of the Dark Paul uh, Tower of Tides mission. Um, really, really, I know I said this before, I really like in this, um, how they're doing this. Anyway, so we're on the ground floor, some people may not know, there's a little teleporter right here on the bottom, it'll port you up, we go one more floor up and we could get the key, uh, quest that is. Click it, and it's going to tell us that we need to go to Everfrost. We'll leave that over there. Going to pause the video as we get to Everfrost. The quickest way is probably going to be POK and then Everfrost. All right, right back. Just so folks will see, it's in the north side of POK, and it's going to be the northeast uh, stone. It says plus right there. Okay. Okay, here we go. So real quickly, Bones has all the write-ups as well as EQ resources. Both of them are very good. Whichever one you like, you know, follow it and do it. And here we go. I'll put in links in the description, obviously, for all the for both those guys. So we need to kill fish, and that's going to be in the water on the east side. You do need to go below, so there's like the um, ice hole right there, and then you go in and you kill stuff. The fish is a fairly fast respawn, so you don't need to worry about contention or anything like that. It's like a minute or something. Almost there. There's the name. And that's the polar. And now we need the frost covered. To the right. Okay, now go to the areas. We'll just get out of here. So real quick, how am I swimming straight and not sinking or going in the different view? I explained this in other videos. Basically, your character is always either looking up or down, regardless of what camera angle you're doing. So as I was swimming straight, if you just saw a little earlier, I was bobbing up and down. With my right hand, I was literally toggling page up and page down so that I could... Um, level myself off. So right there I'm, I push page up a little bit because we're coming to the hole. Um, somewhere here? There it goes. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so the next part we need to go is back into this area here and right where my mouse is on the map covering it. And it's gonna be the frost covered cod.
So when we go in there, we're going to click the fish, and then a bear is going to attack us. Nothing hard. Uh, should be pretty easy. When I did this earlier, um, pathing was not great in here, as you can imagine, like the little jagged stuff. Mr. Bear, where are you? Here it goes. Okay, next one is going to be right here to the southwest of where we're at. So I do have some exciting things um, that I'm going to be adding to this channel. So yesterday... They fixed uh, Final Fuge, the raid one for Plucked, and I'm going to start releasing videos on how to do Vanquisher for each raid. Uh, some of them are not easy, some of them are a little, like I would say, luck based, but I'll try and break it down on how to get it, each raid achievement for folks as easy as possible. So I do have two videos lined up already, which is going to be the Final Fuge from um, at least Drenal's server first, and then uh, what was the other raid? Heroes Forge. We got those two last night. So uh, soon, with quote, air quotes, um, I'll post videos and walkthroughs on how we did it. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet neck. And the AUG is pretty good too. I would say this year's Vanquisher is definitely easier than last year's. Anyway, sorry, distracted, pull a char. If you're not sure of the area, just spam click it and wherever it updates, it will go. And the last one is going to be literally off the map. It's going to be more southwest. Okay, you see how the map kind of cuts off? It's actually a little bit deeper in. And again, if you're not sure, just spam click this till it updates. Update. See where I off the map. Mr. Bear Bear's coming to die. And we click it. Yay, key done. All right, so next part of this video is the actual mission. So I'm going to click my handy, oh, not there, key ring teleportation. Okay, and be right back. Okay, here we go. We're in. We're going to click it. Take the temple up, go one floor up. Zone on in. 
So this mission, they are getting harder, I think. It's um, but still fairly easy. Okay, so here we go. Oasis wake the undead. So to the left and to the right are some torches on the floor. Simply just pick it up. It starts off on the left side, just like all the other missions. Step on the undead. They get pissed off. They will attack. So you see, they, they're they not like keeling over and dying immediately, so yeah, still not hard, hitting hard. So yeah. Here we go. Maybe I should have brought other people just to speed the video up. Not too late. So for whatever reason, they still have the one hour request on it. So once you click the key, you are committed for at least one hour. quick time. Okay, next side, step on them, they get pissed off. So after this video, we'll, I'm probably going to be doing the events, and then holidays, and then, where is it, Wrath Day stuff. I did this uh, yesterday, so I'm going to do walk through it. It's a lot of running. Uh, I would strongly suggest for that uh, a bard and a wizard or a druid to port around. Almost there. So you see these things are doing like an average of 12k damage. Per hit or whatever. Anyway. So the next thing is the guardians. Still same amount of damage.
Okay, almost dead. And then kill the boss. You don't need a torch or anything for it. Give it a little room. And there we go. So the last guy you saw it hit like for 35k uh, max hit. All right, so let's take a look at the new items. We see we just first time getting it. So again, I'm. No, I said at the start of the video, I really like how they are introducing one new item a month. So it keeps people interested and uh, useful. Useful, useful, useful to stuff. Here we go. So two new items. It's going to be the shoulder and wisdom log. And some weapon ornaments, which are, I'm told, pretty cool. Not necessarily my thing, but yeah, there it's there and it's nice. All right, so if you're a group gamer, this is going to be you know comparable, if not slightly better, than the player made of Lorian Song if you're level 125, so it's pretty solid. If you're 124 or below, um, Lorian Song gear is going to be better, so you'll have till you know January of next year to do all this stuff. So, good times. Get it done super easy to get. Then you have the other AUG here, which is the Wisdom AUG. Um, it's not bad. There are some people that, you know, either whatever you categorize yourself as casual or returning or new player, whatever it may be. Um, it's a great spot way to fill out spell, like empty AUG spots. So, even if it's in your archetype, Still, 16 to other stuff, and then Wisdom is not bad. Um, highly suggest it if you have empty spots, because it literally takes like a minute, two minutes to get it. So, there you go. Alright, so that's it for this um, April edition of Your the Dark Ball Tower Tides. Um, get to it, folks. Really suggest it whether you're you call yourself a raider or casual whatever this is pretty decent for everybody all right thanks all catch you later bye bye